Morning, everybody. Back on the road again, heading off to Kemelitsky. Uh, started very early from Kyiv today. The big news so far is that the sun is out in southwestern Ukraine, so that's nice. Beautiful day here. Uh, very excited about our visit to Kemelitsky. Um, particularly pleased to be joined by my Estonian and Lithuanian ambassadorial counterparts. Um, also, importantly, by General Lengel, uh, the head of the European Command Special Forces um, and his team. Um, I'm really honored to be visiting today with our soldiers from Fort Carson, Colorado, who are part of the training mission for Ukraine's Army Special Forces out here at Kemelitsky. Uh, I was talking the other day to an official at Bankova and he was describing to me the importance that President Poroshenko has placed on this training initiative. You know, just like we've done with the patrol police working with the Interior Ministry. Uh, the goal here in Kemelitsky is to work with the Ministry of Defense to build a new and genuinely NATO standard Special Forces capacity. I'm also very impressed to hear about the cooperation with our other NATO members. And um, it's a cold day, everybody's working hard, uh, seeking to raise Ukraine's capacities and to give Ukraine the tools it needs to defend itself. Doing all the pre-build for it today, and then they're going to move all the pieces out on the range, and then actually establish the tower the next day. It's been a great day. Uh, incredibly impressed to see what the American Special Forces are doing with some of our NATO allies in support of the establishment of Ukraine's new Special Forces units. Uh, it was great to see the various medical specialties being trained, various specialties, military specialties being trained, medical, marksmanship, uh, construction, demolition, uh, communications, technology. Um, and what I saw today reaffirmed my confidence that Ukraine and the Ukrainian military are committed to the path of reform. Also incredibly impressed by some of the Ukrainians I met. Um, I'm going to treasure this, a patch from one of the cyborgs um, who I was able to meet today, who's being, who has volunteered and has made the cut to be trained for the new special forces. Um, this is a this is a country that has gone through an incredibly difficult two years uh, dealing with a campaign of aggression which it did not launch. Um, but it's made very clear that it's committed to moving forward <laughs> with the process of reform, moving towards Europe and European institutions, and we hope moving towards a NATO standard military and a NATO standard special forces capability. I'm very proud that the United States is part of that project, and I'm glad we spent the day out here. Thank you.